All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. And once again, we are talking about Suite or Suite In. Yes, this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro. We have Android 13 version of Project Elixir in this video. Been using it since the last two to three days. I know this ROM has been released quite long back. That's 23rd of September. But nonetheless, one by one, when we try these ROMs, it does take some time. And unlike other channels, which you know some of you have pointed out that the videos on this channel are late well i actually believe in using a rom for two to three days allowing it to settle down and then giving you guys a complete review so that's what we're going to do today for the redmi note 10 pro and before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going So let's see what we have here. We have Project Elixir version 3.1 official based on Android 13 updated on the 23rd of September 2022. And if we see the change log of the device itself over here, now let's see what we have. We might not have a lot of things here, but yes, initial release was 3.0. So for 3.1, I don't really see any change log over here. Anyways, this is still an initial release, not really that matured as far as Android 13 ROMs are concerned. And again, you know, I keep saying this again and again that this device is a standout device in our lineup because it is a 700 series chip and uh, 732 per se struggles most of the time to get the UI job done, let alone gaming. So we'll always keep that into consideration. And I do know that a lot of y'all have received the Poco X4 Pro or the Redmi Note 10 Pro as a replacement for this beast over here. So anyways, y'all can install a custom ROM and still your user experience would be much, much better. Now let's first dive into settings. And while we dive into settings, the things that you see over here is the customization that is available in this particular ROM. This time around, I've kept the text a little more bold so that y'all can see clearly, even after keeping the video in 4K, sometimes it is very, very, you know, faded and stuff. So what we have here is Project Elixir officially supported version 3.1 based on Android 13. Now, this is a build which comes with September security patch. So hopefully we will have a release soon, which will have October security patch. And the kernel in question is Vantum kernel, which is one of the better kernels as far as the Redmi Note 10 Pro is concerned. Now, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will have all standard things going on, like Monet doing a great job, you know, smoothness all around, but specific to the Redmi Note 10 Pro, well, the UI is pretty smooth. And that is what I have been liking about Android 13 ROMs. And I did say that in the previous video as well. So the UI smoothness is on another level compared to Android 12. And the version of Android 13 for Project Elixir is doing some magic for sure, because the consistency is there and it can be seen across the entire ROM or different aspects of the user interface. Now, if you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that I have customized the quick tiles over here. This is sort of an outline sort of a look and not something that I prefer, but just to show you guys and how it looks. Now over here, of course, you have the date and then you have the time, which is clickable, which is a good thing. And then you have emergency calls only, the speed meter, different sort of a Wi-Fi icon, battery percentage. So all those things can definitely be customized. Now you do have screen recorder with internal and external audio and the option to show touches on screen. The device does struggle to record gameplays for obvious reasons. The hardware is not up to the mark, but at the bottom, you do have the Android 13 active apps menu over here and you have a setting shortcut as well. And the animations on this ROM are just beautiful. If you go to the power menu, you do have advanced power menu as well. So that again is a brilliant thing. Now, if we talk about the quick tiles over here, you will see that you have your standard quick tiles and you do have some customization. Now, we've just migrated to Android 13 on a lot of custom ROMs and even for the Note 10 Pro, there are a few features which are available and there are a few features which are still coming into play with each and every update. Now, you do have options of adding a refresh rate quick tile over here. And when you do add that, you have options of 60 and 120. There is no auto option available. At the same time, if you go to the multitasking menu, you have the standard uh, screenshot and select option. That means Android 13 features are present. At the same time, you have split screen multitasking and pause app options as well. Now, if we talk about, you know, the wallpaper in style, it's standard Android 13 stuff, Monet doing a 
brilliant job. You do have your standard pixel experience launcher over here, as you can see, and you do have developer options enabled. Now, there are a ton of optimizations, features, beta and trial features available in the developer options of the launcher. So try it at your own risk. And if you run into any issues, you know, you can always go ahead and clear data of your launcher. You should be good to go. Nothing to worry about. So there is something called as at a glance and it is pretty, pretty comprehensive. That is a good thing. Swipe to access Google suggestions, search your phone. All these features are available. Now, one thing to note about this ROM and a lot of Android 13 ROMs is that the camera app is not included by default in these ROMs. So you'll probably have to install ANX camera and Gcam. By the way, there is a brand new video coming up for ANX on uh, all the three devices, including Gcam. So there'll be two separate devices, videos and stay tuned for that. So if you've not, please subscribe. Anyways, moving on, we have, you know, a lot of things going on, including the quick wallpaper chooser. Now let's quickly dive into settings because when it comes to custom ROMs, that's where all the magic is happening. And as you can see, the UI is a little different. It's a slightly oxygenous like UI over here. And if you see, you have something called as Essence, which is the customization menu. Now, welcome to Essence. It says Essence is laid out in a very, very neat manner. You do have theme customization. That means you can select what font you want. You can select the icon pack for your quick, uh, you know, the status bar icons at the top. You can select different signal icon style. Look at the amount of options you have over here. Along with this, you have Wi-Fi icon style as well. So that is another level of customization. Now, apart from this, you have lock screen customization, which is pretty common across uh, all the custom ROMs. And then you have status bar customization, which is very basic. So not much there. You do have double tap status bar to lock and double tap to wake as well, which in my opinion is a neat option. Now, if you go to quick settings, you have a hell lot of customization over here. Now that is a good thing. Quick settings is something you would be using a lot of times a day to turn off Wi-Fi, to turn on the torch. Whatever you do on your Android phone, you will be using quick settings. And if you are given a lot of customization options there, it will make your experience even better. Now you can also choose the background transparency. So I've set it to, you know, 100%. Let's go ahead and remove it completely. So not much of a difference here, but apart from this, you do have gestures. So, you know, you have swipe to screenshot, quickly open camera, one hand mode, lift to check phone, touch screen gestures are available as well. Now, if you go to miscellaneous, you have some advanced options over here. And there is something that says game space, but unfortunately I'm not able to locate it here. So let's actually go to um, apps and let's see if we have game space over here. So we don't have game space over here as well. So that probably is a feature which is missing and it may be added later, right? Now if you go to security, you have fingerprint and screen lock. You don't really see face unlock over here. And apart from this, if we talk about encryption, so the device definitely is encrypted. Even if you go to the Google Play Store here, and you check for Google Play certification, you will see that the device is certified. So safety net is passing. That means once again, we have a ROM for the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is working on the latest Android version and it will allow you to use banking applications as long as you've not rooted it. Now, Wideway L1 is present and the Note 10 Pro comes with a definitely beautiful display so that you can enjoy your Amazon Prime, Netflix, or whatever you watch in HD. So that is a good thing. Now, it doesn't really come with a lot of, uh, you know, applications or bloatware and installing this ROM is pretty straightforward. You can use the recommended firmware and flash it from TWRP. So not much to talk about there. Now, apart from this, there are important things like battery life and charging. Now, that has been a little disappointing for me. I don't really know if it's this particular ROM or it's my device, but most of the time it's not lasting more than 24 hours versus if I'm on MIUI, it's doing a great job. So I'm getting around six to seven hours of screen on time usually on MIUI on Android 13 ROMs for the Redmi Note 10 Pro I'm just getting four to five hours that's more like the Mi 11x which has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Now charging speeds as well on this ROM are not that high. It's taking around one hour 40 minutes to two hours to charge completely from say two percent to hundred percent so that is something that needs to be optimized as well. Now, customizations and smoothness aside, banking applications and entertainment aside, how is gaming? 
Now, as always, these days, the new standard for testing gaming experience is Call of Duty Mobile or Apex Mobile. Now, as I can show you, I have tried both of them. And for obvious reasons, you know, this is a device that cannot record gameplay that smoothly. But I'll tell you this, you can play at 40 FPS. Uh, if you are on a Poco X3 Pro, you know what for 40 FPS feels. And most of the devices these days can do more than that. But if you still have the Redmi Note 10 Pro, you want Android 13 with customizations and you're okay with okayish battery life and stuff, then you can try this. But trust me, this ROM is not meant for gaming, right? Because it still needs a lot of optimization on the ROM front and on the kernel front. With that said, let me actually show you the benchmark numbers here. So if we talk about Antutu benchmark, which I did run when the phone was cooled down. And as you can see, 370,710. Now this is slightly better than what you normally get. The battery dropped by about 3% and the temperature increased by about 5 degrees Celsius. So that's that means that it was performing fine. Now moving on, if you actually go to Google Photos, you will see that it's on off, on off, on off. So it did throttle to 84% and the average score was 135. 52 GIPS. So pretty average result there. And you know, a similar story will continue in Geekbench as well. So if you go to the Geekbench device history, as you can see, it is 522 single core and 1593 multi core. So nothing to write home about. But in my opinion, all the Android 13 based ROMs are getting matured day by day. They're getting fixes and touch optimizations for better smoothness and stuff like that. So you can try this, but I would still recommend you to stick to your trusty Android 12 ROMs. Be it the Poco X3 Pro, the Mi 11X or the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Maybe a month down the line when Android 14 betas start coming out, Android 13 will start getting more stable. So there you have it guys. That was a complete review of Project Elixir 3.1 based on Android 13 for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. See you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.